Hello everyone, my name is Christian. Welcome to my hobby blog. Today we are doing a, another haul video. I uh, Right before I left for my vacation, I got my box of all my Blue Underground sale titles. And because it was, I think, that day, or at least the day after, or the day before that I'd recorded my last haul video, I was kind of like, yeah, I'll just wait. And I also got some trades in which i'm really excited for some error videos and then i have my vinegar syndrome monthly package so i'll go through that first just so i can get out of the way because i am doing an unboxing video which i always do every month for um, vinegar syndrome so this month i'm very excited for two of the titles one of them i have no uh i guess hopes of <laughs> But um, first and foremost, here's the title I am very, very excited for. I saw this way back in the day on Amazon Prime on the worst, um, I guess, rip of it. This is Alien Private Eye right here. I got to cover that up. Um, <laughs> this is one that I had no idea that Vinegar Syndrome was going to do. But what's funny is that there's an episode by Red Letter Media where they covered Action USA, Spookies, and Alien Private Eye. I remember when Spookies uh, first came out, and I was kind of going back and forth on it. I should have gotten it, but uh, in terms of the slip cover. But uh, they also released Action USA uh, in that episode, which went out of print so fast. Didn't even get a chance to get it. But this movie is absolutely bonkers. And I'll go into more details about it when I uh, do my unboxing because I kind of want to move on. This next one is the 4K of the... Well, there's two 4Ks in this um, package. This one is one I've never heard of. It is Flesh Eater. Revenge of the Living Dead. I think I like the back more. <laughs> Um, I'm really excited for this one. This one is a uh, zombie film. I have to show the back because I just realized there's a like, full frontal on the front. But I didn't even notice. But uh, I know nothing about this at all. So when I do my unboxing, I guess that's where we will get the most info. So the last one for this set is one that I'm not really excited for at all. I just revisited this very recently like two days ago in preparation for this package in terms of fairly um reviewing this movie and this is death wish 2 charles bronson is a lot of fun but at some point of the 80s late 80s early 90s this is 82 but um this movie is so sleazy, and I'm unsure if they mean to have Charles Bronson be an anti-hero. Because there's a lot of racist overtones, in my opinion. I mean, I think it's it there is overtones of that. And I'll go into more of that when I review the movie, but what I have already is the uh, triple pack with two, three, and four. Number three is my favorite. I wish they had done that one instead. Still very sleazy, but it's so dumb, in my opinion. While this one, they take it very seriously, the content, but it's very racist, basically. So it's I'm not excited to revisit this so soon. But I watched the theatrical cut, which is what that triple pack has, and I'm excited to see the difference between the unrated cut and the uh, theatrical, so I just hope this is at least watchable. I'm excited to re jump into the uh, special features. There is a commentary track, I believe. Yeah, with um someone. Not sure who it is, but uh, that is my, I guess, April package. In terms of vinegar syndrome but i got a lot more vinegar syndrome titles uh that i kind of just said you know ship it with you know my monthly package and this is one that i have been wanting to get for about a year now ever since they announced it but i noticed that it was dipping very low on the uh 
on the quantities. So I'm trying to put it back in. This is a double pack. This is a 4K, I think. But this is the Scanner Cop uh, duology, which I had no idea that it was this thick. I was shocked when I opened this, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> but um, I love Scanner's one. David Cronenberg is one of my favorite directors of all time. And I have the uh, sequel, Scanners 2 and 3, from Shout Factory. But this is like an unofficial sequel. And I've heard it has really nothing to do with the Scanners movies. The at least licensed ones. So it has a cool, like, thing right there. Really cool injury looking. And I like how on this guy's head, there's like human faces. I'm excited to have this. If anything, it's going to have good effects, I hope. Um, I guess we won't get the awesome head explosion, is my guess. Because you can only do that once and so well. But uh, the next vinegar syndrome I got was one that has been recommended to me many times. And this is and this was one that was like very low on the site for slip covers. This is Satan's Blood, a Carlos Puerto film. Uh, I can't show the back, it's uh, full nudity, but uh, this is one that's just been recommended to me so many times that I had to get it, and if I don't like it, I'll just resell it, because the slip cover's about to go out of print, so. I'm a little unfair in that regard, in my collecting. I'll buy stuff, just in case, and most of the time, I'll enjoy it. I haven't traded many things, but uh, I did just trade a couple uh, partner labels, which I'll get into later, and what I got and trade for that. This is a an AGFA partner label release here. One that I was very excited about once I read about it and kind of heard people's reactions, which were generally good. And this is the shot on video film from Austin, Texas, I believe, directed by a 12 year old. <laughs> this is Pathogen. This is, I, I was doing nothing in my life when I was 12 years old. I was in Scouts. That was probably the only thing that I was doing in my life, but, um, they talk about how it took her from the age of 12 all the way till she was 15 to get the movie made, edited, shot, everything. So she spent three years of her life, which aren't many years at that age, making a movie. So that is so respectable to me that she was able to do that. And I'm very interested to see how good it is because they have a whole documentary about... Um, the making of this movie. They also have a zombie, or yeah, a bonus movie called Zombie Girl that was directed by the same director. So, I cannot wait. <laughs> this is, it just sounds so interesting in terms of the behind the scenes, and I can't wait to watch the, uh, the documentary and see what inspired this girl to do it, so. This next one is one that I was very interested in because it won a couple awards, if I remember right. But it's been described as a uh, Wong Kar Wai type film. Very atmospheric, uh, pretty artsy. But uh, this is the film from uh, Big World Pictures. And I'm not familiar with that partner label, but this is Rebels of the Neon God. I know nothing about this. It's a Hong Kong film, so same uh, country as... Wong Kar Wai, which uh, I guess you can't see. I thought I had the world of Wong Kar Wai uh, up above, but um, this came out around the same time that he was making films, and this is heavily inspired by, is what I heard. But um, I am very excited for this one. I love the works of Wong Kar Wai, so Hong Kong cinema has just been taking over in my uh my watch in my watching so i'm very excited for this i know next to nothing about it <laughs> uh this next one i'm interested in because i watched a really great documentary all about rave productions which is the shot on video 
mail order films that you could uh, request. And this is one of them. This is a shot on video movie from Saturn Koi. This is Shatter Dead. And I really like how it's, you know, there's a hole here in the slip cover and it has a face. But uh, on the back it says, uh, God hates you, which is always fun. Um, Joe Bob Briggs has a uh, quote on the back here, which I'm, I wasn't expecting. It says, the new zombie world created by director Scooter McRae is relentlessly depressing and a gore hound's feast. That's all I need to know. Thank you, Joe Bob. Um, that's all I need to know about the movie. I am excited now. Uh, I did not know he provided a quote. So... This next one is one that I was very interested in because it's like a punk rock movie. And I've seen a couple people even say it's one of the favorites. But this is from Gunpowder Sky, which they also did uh, Prospect, if I remember right. Which is that sci-fi film with Pedro Pascal. This is the movie Tragedy Girls. This one's all about influences, is what I heard, and how... It's about like two um, social media influencers who are trying to become like the best. And so they start to trail after a serial killer. And I'm trying not to read too much, but uh, the uh, I guess the caption for the movie is friends who slay together, stay together. So this is from 2017. So before I... Well, I guess we were kind of in the dark ages by that point, but uh, I'm excited for this one. It looks at least very colorful in terms of the cinematography and the aesthetic, and it's a punk rock movie, so I am very excited. But that is all for the Vinegar Syndrome and Vinegar Syndrome partner titles. This next little section of the haul video is going to be trades. So I traded in uh, She Freak and uh something else for three movies so uh oh adoration that was a uh, one i reviewed on the channel i liked it but i was never going to watch it again and since the slip cover went out of print i was able to trade it in so to um a friend in the community so the first this whole three movies that i got are all kenji fukasaku films which I've been really diving into his movies with the uh, Battles Without Honor and all those movies I can barely see from there. But uh, this one here is Street Mobster. Uh, this is a Region B release. I have a Region 3 player, so I don't even have to look at that. But uh, I do like how the annoying 18 sticker is not too noticeable. But... Uh, it's a Yakuza film by Kenshi Fukasaku. That's really all you need to know. And that's all I need to know. So I'm not going to read the description or anything. I've really enjoyed his movie so far. And I can't wait to dive into all of these. The next one is Doberman Cop. I don't know anything about this one either. It's a title I've heard of for years. But I never watched. So. It has Sonny Chiba in it. Which is always fun. So. Yeah. He's from uh, the Street Fighter movies, which I just got in the mail recently um, during my shout sale. And the final Arrow Kenji Fukasaku film that I got was Cops vs. Thugs. This is one that I've almost bought many times throughout my uh, collecting career. So I'm excited to watch this. I don't know anything about this one either. I don't really need to. Now that I've seen enough Kenji Fukasaku films to reliably or at least confidently watch his movies without knowing anything. So those are the three uh, Arrow Video movies I got. Next is the uh, Blue Underground sale. I got a lot of movies on this one. I snatched up as many as I could and accidentally bought a copy of a movie. So I may do a giveaway at some point. Uh, once I figure out how to ship things without putting my actual address on there. But um, this is one that has been recommended to me forever. This is um, 
House by the Cemetery. This is the 4K, and I'll talk about it later, but this did not come with a slip cover, which I was kind of surprised about. But, um, I believe this also comes with a Blu-ray, um, edition. I really hope it does, because... If not, then I'm kind of stuck with two copies here. But this is a Lucio Fulci movie that I haven't seen. So, how to get it. I haven't seen it. It's been highly recommended. So, I have enough confidence that this won't be one I sell. So, this next one is one of my favorite Lucio Fulci movies. Uh, the last time I saw it was on a really shitty VHS rip on a DVD. So, this is... It's Lucia Fulci, right? Yeah. Zombie, the 4K. I don't have the slip cover. I thought I bought it, but I guess not. But um, I've seen it before. It's it's Zombie. It's one of the most famous Lucia Fulci movies of all time. You have the eye gouging scene. You have the zombie fighting a shock scene. Things you never see in films ever. So, well, you see eye gouging scenes, but not in such detail as this. So, that is Zombie by Lucio Fulci. This next one I got only because it's a Dario Argento movie. It's one I haven't seen yet. We're getting very close to finishing the Dario Argento, I guess, collection. But, uh... It's supposedly a sequel to Suspiria, which I find it hard to believe. But I haven't seen it, so I have no idea. This is Inferno. I know nothing about it. It's Dario Argento. I haven't seen it yet. Um, it has Daria Nicolodi in it, who was his wife for a while, until her uh, death, I guess, a couple years ago. I think two or three years ago, she died. So I don't know anyone else by the uh, in terms of the cast. So I hope this one's good. Uh, I kind of hated Trauma. Uh, that was a Vinegar Syndrome title last year. And I really did not like that one. Borderline hated it. <laughs> but moving on. Uh, this next one is one that has been heavily uh, recommended to me by Leon from uh, Cult Flix Fix. Uh, this is a William Lustig film. This is Maniac. Again, I really hope they came with a Blu-ray because I don't know how to watch it unless I go home and watch it. But um, this is one I've never seen either. Tom Savini did the uh, effects, which I was shocked about. I love Tom Savini's effects, especially in Day of the Dead. I think that's his best movie he's ever done. But it's supposed to be a really sleazy New York slasher film. And that's all I know about it. I don't want to read anything about it because I've heard it's very shocking. So that is Maniac. And here's another Lucio Fulci film on 4K. Again, I hope it comes with a Blu-ray copy. This is the Lucio Fulci film, The New York Ripper. So it, almost exactly the same concept i guess as maniac which is a new york city slasher going around killing people so i'm excited for this i haven't seen it <laughs> a lot of these i haven't seen because i just never really wanted to shell out because blue underground is very expensive usually but because of the sale they were all like 20 bucks 25 bucks so i just bought up like, almost all of the titles that I wanted. Uh, I really hope they put out uh, Anguish on Blu-ray or even 4K. That is a movie that is in desperate need of a remaster. And they have the rights to it. They've done the DVD of Anguish, but they haven't done a Blu-ray. So I really hope they do at some point. But uh, it says it's the most controversial horror film of all time. So I, I guess I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Um, I'm excited for this one. There's a lot of special features on this. And one thing I noticed is that it says a 4K 16-bit. I don't know if that means like 16K or something. I, I, I don't know what the terminology 
means, but uh, this one I'm very excited for. It says it's Fred Williams, which I assume is not Fred Williamson, which is a uh, a shame because I wish he was in more slashes. But that is the New York Ripper. Okay, we got four more left. This one is a Blu-ray of a Lucio Fortune movie that I've seen, but I never, I haven't seen it in so long. I saw it way back in the day on a DVD in school because I had um, a whole library of about 500 or 600 movies and 80% of them were awful and not good. And in terms of the cult horror aspect, but um, this is one that I saw on DVD and loved it and then never bought. So I finally got it. I was just like, okay, whatever. Add to cart, you know. This is uh, Lucio Fulci's City of the Living Dead. Technically, I think Evil Dead 2. Something crazy like that. It's like, or it's Zombie 2. There was something weird with this movie that it was, it had another title in terms of the movie. So, uh, it's a zombie movie by Lucio Fulci. It's all you need to know. I haven't seen it in about five or six years, so. I can't really discuss it too much, but um, here is another movie by uh, Dario Argento and jo uh, George Romero. So I'm almost done with my George Romero. I have Knight Riders, Creep Show, um, all the different later dead movies, which I don't care about at all, but uh, I may buy them just for completionist sake but this is one that's actually good this is two evil eyes i saw this way back in the day too uh early in my uh cinema journey but um this is one that i remember loving the dario argento side because this is an anthology film it's uh two short films one by george romero and one by dario argento i remember really enjoying the art uh, the Argento one, but not much of the George Romero. So I'm excited to revisit this. Adrian Barbeau is in this, who uh, is an amazing actress. And she was also married to John Carpenter at one point. And uh, so yeah, Tom Atkins is in this. And John Amos, who was in The Beastmaster, he was the uh, awesome ally who had the... Uh, I guess that circle thing with all the chains going up and down. Uh, he's awesome. So, yeah. I don't really have much to say. <laughs> this is uh, two evil eyes with a slip cover. So that's nice. Uh, the next one is one that I've already talked about because I got the 4K. And then I accidentally got the Blu-ray. But this one has the slip cover. This is House by the Cemetery. <laughs> Um, let's see the non-slip. So, I may open this one. Oh, I guess open both of them, but put the 4K in this one. And then just switch out the 4K, uh, I guess the disc from here that I'm replacing the 4K with back on this side. So, I don't know. Um... Maybe I'll do a giveaway. I don't know. But uh, there is a way to switch out the box art. But one thing I just realized is that this is the slip cover one is thicker than the non slip. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I did not mean to buy the Blu ray. I just wanted the 4K or 4K and Blu ray um, double pack. But I see here on the top it says. Uh, 4K plus Blu-ray special features, which worries me a lot. But um, I'm trying to compare and contrast. So the limited comes with the CD, is what, as cursory as a glance as I can give it, the difference between the 4K and the Blu-ray. Outside, of course, the uh, the different format. But um, this last one, I'm very kind of excited about because it's a Kurt Douglas film and Martin Sheen. This is, um, I've heard this is the best 
4K looking movie by Blue Underground. And this came with a uh, awesome lenticular slip cover, which I'm like sitting here shaking just looking at it because it's awesome. But this is uh, the final countdown. You can kind of see. Whoa. I love that so much. I love cover. This is my uh, first cover that I own that I've seen that has that. So I hope it doesn't come off. I kind of see how it's, you know, a little, there's a separation. So I meant to actually take this one off <laughs> on my cut and I ended up not. So here I am. Uh, this was the last movie of the hall. Uh, I don't know really anything about it. I see there's a interview with Lloyd Kaufman on this, which I had no idea until I just read it. So I don't have any inclination about why he has a interview on this release. Maybe someone can let me know. That That's really weird, but I'm very excited. I love Lloyd Kaufman. So that is the final countdown. So... I'll just very carefully lift this stack. And I just showed another stack, like, this week. But, um, oh my god. It doesn't end? Okay, there it is. Okay, so I got all of those movies. Uh, and I have more coming. Uh, they didn't actually send me everything in the arrow cell. There was, uh, one movie left that they did not send. I may do another haul because I did get uh, another gift card from them because I spent so much money on there. So I may do some pre-orders um, for some of the Shaw Brothers films. But um, I'm trying to think any... I have a couple more trades coming in. Um, I do have a vine another Vinegar Syndrome package coming because uh, I didn't want it to come with... Uh, the next month's package i wanted it kind of now and so i have that coming and uh not really sure what else there is coming but i'll be doing the unboxing probably right after this of the uh, april package where i open it and i show the alternate i read uh the description make a theory on if i'm going to like the movie or not one of them i know i'm not gonna like uh death wish 2 so We'll see what happens. Uh, thank you all so much for watching and hope everyone has a great rest of the weekend.